how to create a highlight chart in Excel. Whenever the values points is just above our maximum goal, it's going to be highlighted with, with a green color. And whenever it's just below the red line or our minimum goal, it's going to be highlighted with red. And all this happen in an automatic way. So whenever you change any value into your spreadsheet, you're going to see that this chart that is an interactive and dynamic chart in Excel is going to be automatically updated for you. The red line, the green line, the red points, the green points, all these parts of the chart is automatically updated whenever you change any value. So hope you guys this video can help you out with let's say this actual versus target chart in Excel. And of course you can also use this chart right here into let's say a presentation, into your reports, into your dashboards in Excel. So I hope this video can help you out and let's find out now how can we do it step by step. Let's go. To make this highlight chart in Excel, you basically need two things. The first one is going to be a column with date, okay? And the second one is going to be the total value. The value itself, okay? Numbers. You can use whatever type of information that you want. You don't need to just all of that, what I have here. Don't don't need to be exactly like I have here. Just two columns. The first one, date, and the second one, some values, okay? This column here, in between this, the first one and the last one, I'm not using for build this Excel chart. That way I need to select the first column and the last column without select the column in between. To make sure it's possible, I can select the first values here in the first column, okay? And then I'm gonna press and hold the control key. Now I can go here and select these values in the total value column. That way I just select these two columns and then I can go to insert. Now we're gonna select here the line chart, for example, this one right here, okay? Uh, our chart is here already in the screen. We can make some changes later in the chart, but just to start, let me click here in the title of the chart and delete. And another thing that I want you to do here, uh, as you guys can see, I have a lot of blank space here in my chart. So to avoid this void, I can, let's say, change this range right here to the left because my values are starting from zero up to 90,000, for example, but I don't need to start here from zero. Maybe I can start from 30,000, for example. That way I can just read it off this blank space. So let me just double click here in these values, one, two. That way it's gonna open here this right panel. And I can change, let's say, the maximum value. I'm gonna just stick at it is auto automatically, okay? But the minimum value I'm gonna change zero instead of gonna use, let's say, 30,000. Enter. Okay, now we can close it. And now we can fill it in all these four columns here. And then after that, we can take all these values that we're going to fill it in here and input in our chart. Let's start here and understand what is these four columns that we need to use. The first one is the minimum value or the minimum target, the minimum goal. It's going to be aligned just to, to display the minimum value, the minimum target, the minimum goal. Okay. And the second column here, maximum, is going to be the maximum target. So basically, you're going to have two lines in the chart, a minimal value, a minimal goal, and then a maximum goal. All the values that are above this maximum line is going to be highlighted with a green color, okay? And all the values that are below this minimum line is going to be highlighted with head. And this two last column here, minimal highlight and maximum highlight, is going to be responsible to highlight the points green or head depends on the value itself okay if it's above or below the minimum or maximum points so let's start here with the minimum and the maximum you can define your minimum value and your maximum value or your target your goal okay so instead of just filling in here manually we can make it dynamic so here in let's say this cell right here i can type it in minimum and then maximum and here for the minimum value i'm gonna use let's say thirty thousand. And for the maximum value, I'm going to use, let's say, uh, 70,000, maybe. Here for the minimum, I'm going to change to 65, for example, or to 60. Okay. Now, one thing that I can do here, instead of just typing in manually all these values here, I can use the equal sign and then select this cell right here, the minimum value, and press enter. That way, I can make sure all these rows here contain the same value. And Whenever I change here the minimum value, all these values that make up my minimum column is going to automatically be updated for me. But before we just click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag it out, it's important to select this reference right here and press F4 key to lock the reference. Enter. Now we can click, hold, and drag it out. Okay. We can do the same thing here for the maximum column. Equal sign. And then I'm going to select here the maximum value. F4 key to lock the reference. Enter. 
And then I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag it down. Now we have our minimum and the maximum point. Now we can select the minimum and the maximum values, Ctrl C to copy. I can select the chart, Ctrl V to paste. Look, now we already have the lines, the minimal target and the maximum target. We can make some changes here. So let's say this orange line right here, I can double click it to open here this right panel and I can make some changes. Uh, because I know that uh, this is my minimum point, my minimum target, my minimum goal, let's say that way I can change the color to red, for example. So instead of using orange, I can click here in the fill and line, and then I can select a uh, solid line, and I'm going to stick with this red right here. And let's say the width, I'm going to change to 3, for example. And one more thing, dash type, I'm going to stick with this option right here, the dash. Now let's go here to effects, add some shadows. I'm going to stick with the first option, but I'm going to make some changes here. Transparency, I'm going to stick with 35%. Blur, 2, and distance, also 2. I'm going to do the same thing here for this gray line, but instead of using gray, I'm going to use green. Transparency, 35. Blur, 2, and distance, 2. I'm going to do the same settings that I just did before for my red line, okay? But instead of using red, I'm going to use green. I'm going to select here a green color. The width, I'm going to stick with 3. And the dash type, I'm going to stick with the dash, the, the fourth option. Okay, now I can close it. And as you guys can see, it's much better. One more step that we can do here. This blue line right here is represent our total value. I can change also the layout of this line. So double click here to open this right panel. And I can just start here with a shadow effect. I'm going to do the same, same uh, settings. So 35% in the transparency, blur, two, and distance. I'm going to also stick with two. For the, uh, the fill and line, I'm going to stick with solid line, but instead of using green or red, I'm going to use here a gray color, okay? So this one right here, with, I can stick with three, for example. And one more step that I want to add here using the marker, I can select, let's say, mark options, built in, and I'm going to type, I'm going to change to a round one, that is this one right here, and the size I'm going to use in 10, for example. But I'm going to make this the fill, no fill, and I'm going to use borders instead. So I'm going to stick with the same color, the gray, and for the width, I'm going to stick with maybe four. I think it's good. Or a little lower, let's say three. Three, I think it's good. Now I can close it. Or instead of using fill, no fill, I'm going to use solid fill, but I'm going to paint it with white color. Okay, now I can close. And as you guys can see, it's much better, our chart in Excel. The only thing that is missing here is the highlight. So I need to highlight all the points that are just uh, below the red line with a red color. And all the points that is just above my green line, I'm gonna highlight it with green, okay? So to make sure it's possible, I need to fill it in these two last columns here, minimum highlight and maximum highlight. But to make it, instead of doing it manually, because we need to make a dynamic and interactive chart in Excel. Whenever I change any values here, the total value or whenever I change the minimum and the maximum points, I need to my chart automatically be updated for me. So instead of do it manually, I need to use a function here to help me and the if function can help us to make this task, to automate this task. So look, let's say here this first value, as you guys can see, 53. 53 is above or below the minimum point, is above or below the maximum point. The 53 value that I have here in the total value is just below my minimum point. So it's going to be highlighted with head, okay? So I need to fill it in here in the minimal highlight, this value right here, 53. And in the maximum, I'm going to use nobody, okay? I'm going to follow these steps here. So to do it, I can use the if function, equal sign, if function, double click to select, one, two. My logical test is going to be the total value, if the total value is less than for the less than symbol, I just use this symbol right here, okay? This arrow to the left, less than my minimum point, comma. So I'm gonna use the total value itself. If not, else I'm gonna use nobody. So just close parentheses and then enter. Okay. Now, before we just click, hold, and drag down, let's make here the maximum column. So equal sign if, double click it to select if my total value now is greater than for greater, greater than I'm gonna use here this symbol, the, the arrow to the right, okay? So greater than my maximum point, comma, so it's gonna be equal to the total value. However, else, if not, I'm gonna use nobody, so close parentheses and then press 
enter. Okay, so whenever our criteria is not met, we're gonna have here as result a false, but it's okay because that way we can make our chart dynamic in Excel. Let's select this two right here, and in the down right corner of the cell, I can click hold and drag down to make sure we fill it in all the rows with this function. So as you guys can see here, now it's dynamic. One last step that we need to do here is just to select this last two columns here, Ctrl C to cope, select the chart, and then Ctrl V. As you guys can see, all these two lines are already in the chart right now. Uh, now we can do something better here. Let's take the chart and just move above here, over, over our data, okay? Like this, as we already have the chart, we no longer need the data itself, okay? Because you can see the data through the chart itself. This is the reason why you, you need to use chart in Excel to see the data. Uh, let's start here, just change the layout of this yellow line right here, double click it, and this yellow line is gonna be responsible to highlight the red points, and the blue one is gonna be responsible to highlight the green points, okay? Let's start here with the yellow one uh, in this right panel right here. I'm gonna stick here with the effects, shadow, no, I'm gonna not use shadow, but I'm gonna use glow. I'm gonna stick with, let's say, our orange option, but this, this second option right here, the second row, okay? Now I can close it, I can go to fill a line, line, no line, but uh, I'm gonna use markers. So marker, I'm gonna stick with the same option that we just did before, so build it in. I'm gonna stick with this round option, size 10. I can minimize here, fill, I'm gonna use, let's say solid fill, but I'm gonna use here for the solid fill, or instead I'm gonna no use no fill, okay, no fill, and then borders, I can use, let's say, solid line, and I can stick with a red, for example. Okay, I think it's good. I can minimize it. And as you guys can see, it's already working. Whenever our values is just below this red line, all the points is gonna be highlighted if, if red. But we can just increase a little bit the size of the circle, okay? So double click it. Instead of using, let's say, border equal to 0.75, I can increase it to four, for example. I think it's gonna be better, yes. Now we can do the same thing here for the blue one. So the width is gonna be equal to four. Uh, here I'm gonna use a color that is equal to green. And fill, no fill, mark options, build in. I'm gonna use the round one. And the size I'm gonna use equal to 10, enter. One more step here is just to add a glow in the effects option. So I'm gonna stick with a green one. And okay, we're basically done, but we need to remove this blue line here. So fill a line, line, no line. Okay, guys, now we're done. Whenever now our values is just below this red line, it's going to be highlighted with red. And whenever it's just above the green line, it's going to be automatically highlight with green. And of course, as this chart is dynamic, we can change here the minimum and the maximum point. So let's say the minimum, instead of using 60,000, I'm going to use, let's say, uh, 45,000. At press enter. Yeah, the chart automatically update for us. And if you, we change here the maximum point to, let's say, uh, 55,000, for example, enter. Yeah, look what happened. It's cool, huh? And whenever we just change here the values to, the chart is going to be automatically updated. So let's say I'm going to change this point right here. So, for example, instead of using 79, I can change it to, let's say, uh, 49. Enter, and as you guys can see, the chart is already automatically updated for me. So whenever you change any values here into your chart, you're gonna see that it's automatically be updated for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and suggestions to the next video, comment down below, let me know, and I see you tomorrow. As ever, there has any video, I see you there.